there, we're here with Ann Kaming, and she's going to show us how to be an ingredient detective. This is going to be so fun. So first off, I need to know what an ingredient detective does. Is this a job or is this something that we can do on our own? This is definitely something you can do on your own, okay. but I've made it my job um, and I go around and help individuals and families go through their products from personal care to cosmetics to household cleaners huh. to find um, healthy, safe, safe alternatives. Nice. Okay. So, oh, sorry. Oh yeah, what were you going to say? <laughs> oh, so to be an ingredient detective uh -huh. means that you are focused on what's in the product mm -hmm. and not what's on the front of the product. Okay, so that's a little deep for me. <laughs> so what's in the product and not what's on the product? Yes. So this didn't come to my attention until a couple years ago. Uh -huh. And um, I learned that there are over 80,000 chemicals used in commerce today. Wow. And we actually only have information about about 200 of them. Oh gosh. And do you know what your largest organ is? My skin? Yes. And what you put <laughs> on your skin gets directly absorbed into your bloodstream within about 40 seconds. Wow. Okay. So all of those things that we're putting onto our skin are getting into our bloodstream and affecting our endocrine system. Mm, okay. Gosh. Now I feel like this is serious. I need to know. I need to know. What are you going to tell me? <laughs> so when I decided to become an ingredient detective, it was yeah. because I was looking for products that were completely harmful chemical free. Okay. And I was noticing when I'd go to my health food store um, that if I would turn the product around, I would still see ingredients that were no-nos. Those long names that you'll never pronounce. Yeah, and actually yes. today I wanted to share with you a very simple one that you can start looking for right away. Okay. So that is the word fragrance. Oh, I was expecting one of those really big words, you know, the alpha, alpha hydroxy linoleic acid, you know, all these different yes. long terms. Yeah, I know, it's shocking, right? Yeah. It can also be called perfume or parfum. Okay. Um, and fragrance is a loophole. Mm -hmm. And companies can put thousands of ingredients under that one term. Oh, wow. The basis for fragrance is actually 3,000 different chemicals. Oh, my goodness. So the fragrance that is in a fancy perfume at yeah. Macy's might have some of the same ingredients that your toilet bowl cleaner has. <gasps> I'm sorry. I am just so in awe that I'm just, I'm going, oh, oh, over and over again. Um, that's, that's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Yeah. So what do we do about this? So I encourage people to always read the labels. Okay. It's really hard to find products that are absolutely completely free and clear of harmful ingredients. But if we mm -hmm. start with fragrance, that's a pretty good place to begin. Okay. So is it rare to find a product that doesn't say the word fragrance on it? Actually, products will say fragrance free. Okay. I want you to be aware though, you have to be an ingredient detective because, us, because oftentimes it actually will have the word fragrance on the back because the fragrance oh. isn't necessarily the scent, it's in order to balance out the other chemical smells. Oh, I get it. Okay. Gosh. And the word fragrance, 75% of the time, is legally hiding phthalates. And phthalates are known to be endocrine disruptors that are linked with birth defects, autism, and um, cancer. Oh my goodness. Okay. So it's a great place to start taking action and getting that rid of getting rid of that in your products. Okay. Wow. Do you have anything else that you want to share with us about how we can be better um, uh, detectives? Um, so I found a product line called Pure Haven Essentials, uh -huh. and it's a one-stop shop from personal care to cosmetics to household cleaners, baby products. They are completely harmful, chemical free. Wow, nice. And they smell great because they have essential oils. Great, so we'll definitely be getting in touch with you to get some of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking the time and to share with us uh, the dangers of that fragrance terminology and inspire us to look more at labels and learn more about what's in the products that we're putting on our skin.